Hi guys, it's Christy with Christy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for Jimin and Shiga. And it is a friendship reading to see where we are. I believe this will be part two to see what is going on here. So let's have a look at the energy. Can I get two cards for Jimin? We will put him on my left. For Jimin, please, just two cards, Spirit. Two cards for Jimin. And two cards for Jimin. Hello. Okay, so that's not working clearly. We will just go like this. So we have the Three of Swords here. We have the King of Swords here. So Jimin is coming back out as the King of Swords. He is an air sign, I do believe. Um, Three of Swords. Now, these cards are completely different than what you're used to seeing. Usually you see a heart with all the swords through as a, um, as a heartbreak or sorrow and sadness. So we have heartbreak, sorrow, or sadness for Jimin. So let's see, what do we have for Suga? We have the Knave of Cups, which is the Page of Cups, which is news, usually good news. Studious, no, that's not studious. Um, <laughs> the Page of Cups is usually um, manifestations. It can be a lot of different things other than just news, but in this case, I do feel it is news, good news. And we have the King of Cups. So, Suga is showing up as the King of Cups. And what is their combined energy on the bottom of the deck? Is the Two of Wands. Now, this has to do with their each solo um, aspect of their lives. And it also uh, has to do with their future. So, wow. Okay. Let's get a couple more messages first to see what kind of things might come up for them. For Jimin, please, what do we have? We have answering the call. The time is now. So something has come up for Jimin here, answering some sort of call and I'm kind of opening a door here, I see, and uh, seeing it looks like a buck out there, but it also has a pathway. So you might have something to do with animals here. A real love for animals, possibly. But there is a path that he is meant to start on. Answering that call from spirit. Begin now. Take your first steps. Wow, look at that. So taking those first steps towards his calling. But I kind of feel like he's sort of already in that, but there might be more to it that he's meant to expand on somehow here. Might involve someone else or something along those lines. Let's see, what do we have for Shiga? I get two cards for Shiga, please. Choosing your path, all is possible. So it looks like um, whatever he chooses to do is going to be just fine with the divine. Now, let's see. All is possible. That's beautiful. Oh, we got a couple more than I expected here. Finding sanctuary. Opening your spiritual source. So that might be kind of, um, with that, uh, awakening sense I'm feeling like. More awakening to some of maybe the spiritual gifts embracing enthusiasm shout to the heavens with happiness oh that's beautiful and um i kind of get oh rainbow blessings blessings are showering your life so he is meant to receive some type of blessing coming through here for him maybe there's some work that he's already done that he was meant to have um something that was owed to him or he did the work you know and now he's getting some blessings can i get two more cards for jimin then please now 
usually for Jimin, I usually have this really fun loving energy coming up, but with this Three of Swords, that is just heartbreak of some sort here. Of something that oh, overcoming obstacles, it's right here. You can overcome over the sorry. I'm all just wanna work today. You can overcome anything. So hmm answering the call begin now overcoming obstacles and I feel like that is what he's in right now some type of heartbreak loss or something here voyage of the heart love flows through you and to you so yeah I'm kind of feeling like there was some type of tidal wave of some sort that came into his shore where it's upset his life um, I'm not really sure what this is, but I'm sure we'll find out. Let's see. Transformation. Ah, they could be going through an awakening. Having to um, take away everything that is not good for them or people around them that are no longer um, on their side or wanting the best for them. A fresh new way of living emerges. So, huh. They may find that... There's a reason these guys have been all put together in this group, I feel. And these two here have a certain path that are meant to take here. They're doing their transformations right now. I kind of feel like one might be a little further ahead than the other when it comes to this. I kind of feel like even though they're showing up as kings, um, I don't feel they're far from becoming the Emperor if they haven't already become the Emperor. Let's see what this is. Let's do some tarot. Can I get a couple cards for Jimin, please? Ooh. Chariot. So, to me that's saying that, okay, so something's coming to do with their work. Okay, something's coming forward here. Now, this is usually triumph and success uh, associated with the chariot. Could be opposites attract or opposite type of personalities. One's very um, loving and one's very analytical, like very um, intelligent and serious minded. But on the other hand, I sure get a fun-loving side to Jimin here that you may not always see. He may hide that from certain people or from the public. You might even catch it on the public and just know that he's a bit of a jokester or kidder. Yeah, there's sun here. So this has to do with his happiness, and he really loves working, and that makes him happy. I think, I feel, I, I'm not sure if it's Sugar, Sugar or um, Jimin that had that before that I picked up on, and that was, um, gets into trouble when they get bored. Has to be doing something, you know, and if it's not work, it's got to be something. Like, just a busybody, can't sit still for more than five minutes kind of things. Always on the go, right? Just has a lot of energy and needs to find things for his mind to work on or be doing so he doesn't get bored. The hangman. So, for Shiga, he's very easily able to maybe see the other side of the coin like both sides so he can see his view but he also has his own view and maybe he tries to help other people see that different view or different perspective especially when it comes to work I feel let's see what do we get for Suga yeah there might be some regret here and maybe that's something he's learned along the way is that Having that other look at the other person's point of view and not just dismissing it is something he might have learned by regretting an action that he may have done in the past. 
What do we have in the middle? We have strength, and I do feel these two are very strong when it comes to what they believe in or what they want to have happen. Like, to get where they, from point A to point B, they're very strong at how they go. It's like a, a plan, you know, they're planners. I kind of feel like there's different aspects to these two where when it comes to planning too, one might not be so stuck on it whereas the other one's quite serious about it but then <laughs> just to have that fun although they're serious um, to have that fun I <laughs> usually get some in trouble. I think I've said that before, but that keeps coming back. So let's get some more here. Can I get a couple more cards for Jimin? What do we need to know for Jimin about things here? Okay. So we have the King of Wands here working. So this is somebody he works with. The King of Wands. Maybe somebody's having a hard time adapting to some work issues, maybe even some financial issues, or feeling left out of something. Could be feeling left out, I feel. Um, trying to adapt with work and with the punches, and maybe Jimin has something going on with Sugar on a collaboration, and somebody on their group is feeling left out of it. But I feel like this is something that may not be um, Jimin or Sugar's choice. I kind of feel like it might be um, to do with the people that are trying to get these groups um, gigs or on tour or their managers, I guess. They're, they're people that they have that they have things set up and there are people that are working to set up things for the group. I kind of feel like this might be something that is not their idea. This might be someone else's idea. But in any case, it still makes whoever the King of Wands feeling left out of this collaboration. Hmm. Let's see, what, what do we get for Shiga's side? I feel this heartbreak might have something to do with the last reading. And these obstacles with the sword and this peach here, um, overcoming the obstacles, I, I think you can see that. The sword is in the center of the peach, and it kind of makes me feel like um, whatever this was wasn't easy, this heartbreak or this feeling of heartbreak. So yeah, this has to do with the King of Pentacles. So this, I believe this came up as Jean Cook the last time. So Jean Cook is here. What is he doing? He's manifested something for Suga to do with his uh, with his um, future. But there might be some conflict or some type of competition. And I kind of feel like these guys can um, have that happen quite easily between the group where they're all very competitive, you know, uh, when it comes to certain things. And we have the Knight of Wands. So this is about their passion to do with work, I feel. And... I kind of feel like this relationship they have feels like it's something that is not going to be easy. There's there's some things that need to transform when it comes to this group um, because when it comes to Jimin and Suga, the other members of the group want to put in their two cents as well, right? So they're not feeling left out in the cold, but it looks like there's some type of competition here um, 
on which road they should actually go down when it comes to sugar. And it might be being influenced by Jean Cook and whoever the King of Wands is. I feel like they all have their own gifts to bring to this to this group, right? Let's clarify a few things here. That way we can get a little bit more on what is going on here. Let's see who else comes up. What's the chariot? Hmm. So this is either a Capricorn or I want it to be free from something I'm feeling. Freedom. Freedom. Maybe some freedom from having to keep going and going and going when it comes to work. Wants some playtime. Maybe they're feeling like it's a challenge to have to work all the time or have constraints on their time. And this might have been something to do with the heart though. Yeah, the Wounded Warrior. So this might have, for Jim and it might be having to do with a certain somebody here. What is this? Whoa. Oh, yeah, it has to do with love. We have the Union card here. Love Union. But there is some healing here and being just fine again. So what is this? Hmm. Having the strength to boss up to the emperor here. So this transformation is something that's come about from a breakup in love, it looks like. Possibly having to walk away from somebody. What is this king of wands? What's the king of wands, please, spirit? So, yeah, some kind of cycle has ended for this King of Wands that's uh, crying over spilt milk here. What is the Eight of Pentacles? Yeah, I kind of feel like it was uh, yeah, crossroads when it comes to work. I kind of feel like that cycle ended um, about crying over something here. I kind of feel like it has to do with being left out in the cold, maybe just getting a different uh, look at things here. So crossroads on work here. Why? Why is the two of swords here? Uh, wanting that equal give and take, and maybe it has to do with time. What is the two of pentacles? What is the juggling about here? Does this have to do with time? What is this? watching mm. maybe you're having to adapting to being the one that's watching instead of being in the game he's maybe on the sidelines this time and someone else gets to be in the limelight maybe that's a problem for this king of wands yeah feeling defeated about it waiting for his turn on something i feel like What's this Five of Pentacles? Yeah, Knight of Wands, something that he's passionate about. He's feeling left out in the cold. And it could be just maybe his idea wasn't used. Yeah, this cost him a tower. Wow, this is something that was pretty major to this person, this King of Wands. And it's feeling like it's a burden to this person. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Wants to put the burden down. Spirit wants him to put the burden down. Maybe he needs a different perspective on something here. What do we got? Yeah, it, this might be something that was manifested. What is this? It's a magician. Mm, might have to do with the marriage. A runner chaser feeling here with this love. 
I kind of feel it's the right person, just the wrong time. Going back and forth with this person from, I feel like, the past. Yeah, somebody that walked away from him or he walked away from them. That twin flame feeling. Having to do with the marriage. It could be somebody's deciding to get married here and all the other guys are thinking about the same thing. Maybe it's just that age or a phase. What do we got on the bottom of the deck? Love. And it's got to do with love and a choice. Hmm. Let's see here. Let's clarify Sugar's side. <laughs> Okay, we got the King of Swords on his side, and he's having to have a different perspective when it comes to Jimin, okay? Maybe it has to do with his abilities or his ideas. Could be, hmm, maybe he's just not seeing what Jimin's trying to say, or he just knows that Jimin is hurt right now. Maybe he's taking the lead. What is Sugar doing? Yeah, there needs to be some equal give and take here. So it might have been that they kind of have a tiff here or something. Oh, the King of Cups is showing up here and that is Suga. So it has to do with having equal give and take when it comes to these two. And it's possibly that they didn't see eye to eye on this. And maybe <laughs> I get what's going on here now. And it's possible these, there's one here on his side, one here on his side, about what they agree with when it comes to whatever decision this is. There might be some regret about this decision or has learned from the past about making these types of decisions. What is this? Why is the regret here? Why is the regret here? Okay, my bad. I <laughs> So there's some regret and it possibly has a decision about this love. And he's trying to work, but it's not working because all he's thinking about is this love. And I'm seeing here that this equal give and take has to do with love for an empress. Okay? And this, I feel, is Jimin's empress who he likes I don't feel that they all are on the same page when it comes to this and I'm feeling that this king of wands might be trying to tell Jimin there's people that feel like they're out in the cold on this and maybe he knows how certain people feel about things, how certain people feel it's toxic because of the runner-chaser dynamic. Or it could be a Capricorn. They may not all agree about this for Jimin. And it might be that people are getting upset about Jimin and when it comes to work he's not maybe focusing because he's thinking about this marriage and it looks like people are maybe even suggesting that he sits this one out when it comes to work because he can't get his head in the game what's this king of pentacles then what's that i felt that was john cook before let's see what is john cook to say. Oh, he just wants him to be happy. I feel like he he's happy about this offer that Jimin has here. So it could be whoever this king of wands is kind of upset at Jimin and Jean-Cook might be upset at Shiga for the way they're being towards Jimin. What is this Magician, what is this? Yeah. Some healing I feel here with the star. I kind of feel like it's not, um, 
it needs some healing here um, when it comes to these four individuals here. What is this? What is the star here for? Is this healing or what are we looking at here? Yeah, healing this love and for some of the other members to get a different perspective when it comes to Jim and, and this love. I kind of feel like maybe Jean Cook is like, if it was you, how would you feel if people were saying this to you about sitting this out because you don't have your head in the game? There's some type of transformation here for him to come to this emperor, to become this emperor and go after his empress. So I kind of feel like this is kind of maybe talk here. Yeah, there's going to be some justice. And I, I feel like Jean Cook might be the one to try to balance the scales when it comes to this group. Like, maybe he's the unspoken leader when it comes to this group, or... But he's trying to get them to change their perspective about this. He may have gotten Suga to um, show some love in the matter of um, understanding. Possibly Suga has been through this too. And maybe that is what Jean Cook is reminding him of. What is the future about? Why is that here? Yeah. Someone else has been out in the cold before, and I feel like Jean Cook is reminding certain people of this fact. What is the competition? Yeah, a passionate new beginning. Possibly has to do with uh, trying to be... How do you put that? <laughs> uh, this feeling is kind of tough to put into words. Um, They're all passionate when it comes to their career. But when love is in the game, um, it changes a lot of the dynamic. And I feel like... I kind of feel like Jimin is... He's going to be inspired to get back to this work and get his head back into work, but it's it might be an idea that Sean Cook has to try to get him back in the game to get things to come to a resolution. Yeah, to get him out of his head. So he's not sitting there feeling paralyzed about this love and not being able to only think about love. And I feel like that's where this healing comes in, getting that self-confidence back, being strong, and actually bossing up to be that emperor that he has always been. You know, um, getting him in that mindset again of being that emperor. Let's see. Yeah. Because they're all kind of competing with other bands and other... Um, other groups that it's important to keep their edge to keep their place to kind of rise up and get everybody to have to follow that you know set the standard what's on the bottom of the deck yeah there's some type of news coming in here with the page of wands might be an idea and I feel like it is they're going to somehow I feel a choice when it comes to this. A choice in love. There's going to be an idea that comes forward here that is going to be happy for everyone. Some type of resolution that is going to get these guys back on track. Hmm. What do I have? Let's see. get some more on this because this is kind of interesting what is this about why is this competition here yeah this has to do with the past person and it's an idea here to do with an idea a passionate idea or a way to have a new beginning with this person that he has and it might be just that they give him this idea which gives him hope and 
a chance to maybe rethink things about this person maybe it has to, I, I kind of feeling like it has to do with giving him an idea about a way of getting this person back to try to try to get this person back when it comes to love okay and getting him out of that feeling of being out in the cold yeah where he's hanging on and how to get that happiness back into him because usually I feel very uplifting enthusiastic really laughing type of energy and I don't feel that here yeah it has to do with this offer and it has to do about what walking away for maybe his own happiness but I see that proposal here and having to adapt to something here has to do with that offer and it might have been something the king of wands said here which I feel kind of gave Jimin an idea or I kind of feel it's more Jean Cook that had the idea here when it came to this person from the past yeah <laughs> Because there's some news here and I feel like they might put out there some type of news not to the public but to the people in their industry about somebody going running after this person from the past this Queen of Pentacles maybe this is uh, Jean Cook's person that he likes that ends up having something come full circle What is this? Okay, tell me more about this Ace of Wands. Yeah, he felt like he was left out in the cold and maybe it was just not coming together. And like I said, I still get that feeling of right person, wrong timing. Yeah, this Queen of Pentacles that knows the King of Pentacles, who I feel is Jean Cook. So whoever Jean Cook's counterpart is, um whether they know it or not their counterparts maybe they're just friends at this point uh is helping jean cook with this idea what is this high priestess something to do with intuition or some knowledge here what is this having to do about someone being sad here and focusing on the three cups I kind of feel like <laughs> I okay I see what was going on here this Queen of Pentacles I feel is telling Jean Cook that this person that left Jimin out in the cold maybe turned down an offer because I feel there was an offer here in love um, I kind of feel like this person is just as sad as Jimin. Let's see, what is this Five of Cups? Yeah, very self-sufficient as well, but wish fulfillment. Seeing them, they both have that card. They're both self-sufficient, but feel each other's wish fulfillment. Let's see here. Yeah, it has to do with the love. <laughs> what else do we have here? So this is a bit of a brainstorming, I feel, between these four people in the group when they're working uh, on a song or something. Maybe the song is about this love affair that they have, this twin flame here. Yeah, the King of Cups maybe is bringing that to the table about this offer. Saying, look, why, why don't we sing about this? Somebody gets an idea here. And I think Jean Cook is the one that finds out a bit about from the girl's side. Because I feel like he knows somebody that knows this person. Yeah, maybe a new path to go down to maybe... 
try something new to balance this out a bit when it comes to this union. They're all playing a key role here when it comes to this. And having to do with an offer. Hmm. What do we have here? Yeah, full circle. Lucky in love. I wonder if it's going to be a way of trying to make this person jealous. What's going on here? What is this? What's the wheel? There's some hermiting going. Maybe this person is isolated in order to get this person motivated. This might be Jimin's energy actually, wanting just to isolate. And this idea might get things going again for this group to get back to work. And I feel like it's going to be a song about this. Something to do with music here, something to do with what they do, what they're working. And I kind of feel like they all brainstorm on this heartache or heartbreak. Maybe it's something they've all experienced at one point or another. <laughs> yeah, having to do with a marriage. So this is about a way of getting this person back. <laughs> What's going on? Yeah, for the long term. Maybe catching his twin flame because that's got to be one of the hardest ones to um, to get through. Yeah, there's a tower. So something huge is going to happen after they collaborate whatever they're doing here. This little plan that they're getting. Now whether it's they're working on a song or some type of plan when it comes to this union. Because I feel like he really wants to marry this person. Jimin is really hard, um, falling hard for somebody here or wanting to get married. There's a message somehow. And I feel like it's going to come through in their song. Yeah, about maybe being a wounded warrior and having this love. Running and chasing about twin flames or something along those lines. Yeah, feeling defeated when it comes to this love. What is going on here? Oh, yeah. That equal give and take. And it might be just all the things that Jimin really feels when it comes to this love and this offer to his empress. Yeah. Nine of Pentacles. Maybe not wanting to be single. Wanting to have that marriage. Wanting to give some of those pentacles over. You know, that equal give and take. That he's going to be a good candidate for this person. What? Oh, what what do we got here? Can you give me some more on this Empress? Oh, it might be a way of her coming forward. <laughs> wow. I'm wanting some type this plan might work to get her to come back. What is this? Yeah, a choice in love as a rebirth, and I feel a reconciliation with this star. And I feel like this person might be in the limelight as well, somebody in this industry that he has fallen for, or somebody that he knows in this industry, maybe they do something else, maybe they're an actress or a model or Maybe they're a singer, um, but <laughs> it's some type of rebirth and love. She's coming back. She's going to come back. This is a, a way of getting her back. 
So these boys have come up with some plan, some type of plan here when it comes to Jimin's em Empress here. And there's work of one, two, three other people that are guys in his group they're gonna help. Also, Jean Cook's friend that's a woman, she's also going to help. There's a group here that are going to line this all up. Wow. And have some type of transformation when it comes to this love. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> I see what's going on here now. Yeah, she's going to come rushing in. And he's going to propose. That could be a proposal. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that is going to be a proposal. There's going to be some happy times. But they're going to have to work out this um, feeling of betrayal. They're going to have to heal that. Because that, because everything isn't fine. Like, maybe it's healed now. Because I do see healing here for him. And I do see healing here for the hermit I saw over here. So I feel like they've both done some healing. And maybe now they can talk about what happened where everything will be fine you know i like this this is good yeah and taking a brand new leap of faith together wow with love oh my god so whatever plan these boys are cooking up <laughs> looks like it might work it might work to get this person back for Jimin. <laughs> I just want to get a couple of love things here. Now, I'm surprised nobody's coming in to upset all this. So, let's see. What else do we have? Engagement. Ah! <laughs> I can't make this shit up. What else do we have? Okay, so there maybe there was some codependency here. Maybe uh, having a hard time being by themselves or some type of addiction that was affecting something here. Maybe just a workaholic. <laughs> Give your relationship a chance. So I kind of feel like they've worked through some of this. What is anything else for these two for Jimin? Yeah, there might have been some deception here, and I do feel that there was at one point, or maybe that feeling of deception, and I do feel like something happened here, maybe it just wasn't some type of, I don't know, um, misunderstanding as, and the, I, I kind of feel like it, maybe it was a misunderstanding that there was some regret about Maybe things weren't uh, truthful right at the beginning, or somebody else got in between the two of them. Something else here. What? Yeah, forgiving and learning. So I do feel like whatever this was, um, I kind of feel like they work it out. And I feel like it had to do with another person that maybe tried to come between the two of them. Some type of de deception and... I don't know, something to do with the Queen of Wands. I don't see her here, but I feel it. It's on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, it's going to help you very soon. Pay attention to the red flags is in reverse. So I don't feel like that deception is any longer. Keep an open mind. And yeah, I, separation is in reverse, so... I feel like they're going to come back together. There is a true love here. So, hmm. I do feel things are going to improve. Yeah, and there's passion here. Past life relationship. So I do feel like there's some major, major pull here when it comes to these two. And these, this group is going to help get this back on track and I do feel like somebody did come between them and I do feel like it was a queen of wands but I don't see her in here now 
So I kind of feel like things got sorted out. Something's going to change here and transform. It might be unknown te territory. Maybe there's going to be, uh, oh, trust in the divine plan. <laughs> there's going to be a passage here, stepping into power, being strong, gates of triumph. So I really feel, oh, and a wise leader, infinite abundance. So yeah, there's something going to change here for these guys when it comes for this love for Jimin. And these guys are all going to group in to help him out. So... Wow, and I feel like people were come trying to brainstorm on what to do about this to try to get Jimin back in the game when it comes to work. And now that they have a plan, I feel like work was fine. He, he did okay in work again. He got his head back in the game knowing there was a plan. Now when this when is this plan going to go down? <laughs> When is this plan going to go down? In a month. <laughs> okay. And it has to do with the Pisces. A Taurus. A Taurus. A Gemini. A Scorpio. And a Capricorn. <laughs> So there's going to be a few people that are helping out here. And I feel like it's going to be something that's going to be hush-hush. It's only going to be within a, a few people. Well, five or six people here, I feel like the four, three, four, maybe five or six. Yeah, maybe five or six people that are going to help this come together. And I do feel there is going to be an engagement and a marriage eventually. So they may be engaged for maybe a year or something like that, and then they'll get married. So once they're engaged, when will they be married? Yeah, 11 months after they get engaged, they will get married. So, wow, that's pretty cool. So I'm going to leave it there. That was the reading between Shiga and Jimin, their friendship, and I feel like this all comes together. Maybe there's a little bit of a misunderstanding, kind of frustration about how to get Jimin back in the game when it comes to work. And these all, there's a bit of a tension here because one, one of the group is kind of saying something to Jimin about it. The other one's saying something to Suga about it. And then when they come together to work I feel like they brainstorm on how they're going to change this dynamic and how they're going to try to transform this where everybody's happy and I feel like it's just that plan alone that they're gonna work together to help Jimin that helps him get back into the game of work so in any case I'm going to leave it there. Please like, share, and subscribe. Give me the thumbs up if uh, you like what I'm doing. And uh, you can donate if you like down in the description box below. There's a PayPal account. And let's see. Um, my mailing address is also there. If you want to send any gifts, I'd be more than happy to take them. <laughs> And uh, yeah, we're going to see y'all next time. Take care. Stay blessed. All right. Later.